Summer just around the corner. It's important to know the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Meteorologist Aaron Walker has more on how to recognize and prevent these conditions. Heat exhaustion and heat stroke are heat related illnesses that can occur when your body gets too hot. The symptoms of each other can be similar, but they require different treatments. Heat exhaustion is a milder form of heat related illness. It usually happens when someone has been exposed to high temperatures and hasn't taken in enough fluids. Symptoms can include heavy sweating, weakness, dizziness, headache, and nausea. Heat stroke, on the other hand, is a more severe condition that can be life-threatening. It can occur when the body's temperature regulation system fails and the body temperature rises rapidly. Symptoms can include confusion, seizures, a rapid heart rate, and even unconsciousness. If you suspect someone has heat exhaustion, get them to a cooler place, have them drink water, and rest. If you suspect heat stroke, seek emergency medical attention immediately and dial 911. You can prevent heat-related illnesses by staying hydrated, wearing lightweight and loose-fitting clothes, avoid being outside during the hottest part of the day, and take frequent breaks in air-conditioned or shaded areas. It is also important to never leave children or pets in a parked car, even with the windows cracked. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Aaron Walker. As Aaron just mentioned, as temperatures continue to rise, you've got to remember to stay cool and hydrated. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms of heat exhaustion or heat stroke, you have to take action quickly. Be sure to stay up to date with your weather forecast. You need to know the conditions in your area every day. In order to do that, download the WLTX app. Be sure to follow our News 19 meteorologist on their social media pages as well.